Hello. The boat Stirling Electric is a hybrid boat. There is a Stirling engine generator and it makes electricity and it goes through to the outboard. The Stirling engine generator is made by a firm called Microgen and it runs on LPG gas, liquid petroleum gas. So that makes the electricity and the outboard motor is e-propulsion and a very good motor it is. As a boat, I think we are marrying, marrying two successful technologies and together they make, um, make a rather superb result. They combine the advantages but also get away from some disadvantages. You know, the advantages of the Stirling engine are that it is quiet, extremely quiet, and extremely reliable. Some of the engines are getting up to a decade without any maintenance. And they're clean. When I compare the emissions of burning LPG gas with a blue flame outside the cylinder with my uh, Honda Jazz emissions test, it's a factor of 5 to a factor of 10 better. The Stirling engine generator is a rather clean uh, device. So those are traditional advantages of the Stirling engine. And of course, the electric outboard, um, it's the advantages of electrical electricity controllable I've got speed control and reverse but also quiet and also reliable so it's bringing together those two sets of advantages but it's also removing some of the disadvantages with the Stirling engine you have to heat it up before you can get it started and then when it has started um, it needs to get up to a high temperature to be able to run and generate full power <clears throat> So with a battery on board, um, we can use uh, some of the power of the battery. The battery is there to start the Stirling engine, but it also has a bit of capacity to uh, push the propeller. So from the word go, I've got power immediately. I don't have to wait for the Stirling engine to reach full power. Another disadvantage is that um, with electric boats, so I'll call them battery boats, um, you have to uh, uh, worry about your range. Will I be able to get home? And here you are, Andrew, with a boat with only one gas bottle on board. Normal practice is to have two gas bottles on board uh, so that when one runs out, uh, you can switch over. But uh, with the battery on board, I've got a two kilowatt hour battery, a one kilowatt motor. So I've got getting on for two hours to be able to get home should my gas bottle run out on me. So the battery of the electric installation adds to uh, the, the Stirling situation and its gas bottle. I'd like also to talk about range and speed. One of the major issues with um, the electric, I'll call them battery boats, they're powered by a battery and there's an electric motor, um, it's range. And next year, the batteries just decline. So they have less charge capacity and you lose range if you want to keep your speed up or if you want to keep your range you've got to go slower now with uh, the sterling generator on board um, a generator electric boat then the power is constant so next year and the year after uh, the sterling generator will still be generating the one kilowatt for the one kilowatt outboard motor Another factor is that even on a trip, um, the voltage declines a little. Um, as the day wears on of your boating and cruising, so the battery is depleted, the voltage comes down a little bit. And living near the river, I quite often see battery electric boats returning in the evening, going extremely slowly so that they can get home. And um, I this last summer I went up to the Thames traditional boat rally they very kindly let me exhibit because I'm not exactly a traditional boat I've got a fiberglass hull not a wooden one um, but it took me two days to get there I don't travel very fast um, and I spent two days at the show cruising around and I spent a fifth day coming back um, before the bottle was empty so I had five days of cruising without having to plug in and charge up because there are a few charging points around the place. Most uh, battery electric boats are set up for the day. You set out, 
you do your day's cruising, but you have to come back to be able to charge up overnight. So in conclusion, I think we've got a happy marriage between two technologies, which not only add together, but also remove some of each other's disadvantages. If you'd like to know more, um, have a look at YouTube. I have a video there. Search for Andrew Hall Sterling. Sterling has two eyes in it. And I have a video there entitled 1.3 HP Sterling Engine. That's all about the Microgen Sterling Engine. And the, I also have a website, sterlingengineboats.com. So have a look at those two and thank you for listening. Bye.